I stepped out and I wanted to create a play that I was not going to act in. And I wanted to create a piece of work that uh, gave life to and light to the stories of African women in war. And that was because I'd seen images about African women in this particular war and the experiences that they have, I think, are largely under underexposed and underrepresented. So to me, uh, it was very important to try to tell those stories. Bill Clinton in the White House. So Eclipsed was actually my second play. It was creating a linguistic style that I had never been around. I didn't know exactly how Zimbabweans spoke English in the 1890s when they're just getting connected to it and they're sort of fighting within themselves and, and amongst themselves to figure out what their identity was going to be now. And um, it's, it's dark, you know, there's so much darkness to me about that because there was so much time that passed before Zimbabweans became free. Part of this, since the moment I leave my house to others' devices, everything falls apart. Something borrowed, something blue. So my next play uh, is Familiar. And Familiar uh, just finished off-Broadway. It was also at Yale Repertory. And that um, <laughs> was the first play I created about my people. I'm always creating about people other than myself. And I always used to say, dudes, you don't need a play about me. I'm not one of those people who's gonna write a one-woman show about my life. It's just not my thing. So um, the idea of Familiar was really, I'm gonna delve deeply into my family, into a family dynamic of Africans living in the United States, dealing with the weekend of their daughter's wedding. But I'm going to find a familiar thread, be you Greek American, be you Irish Catholic, I don't care. I wanted everyone to see their family in there somewhere. Like they knew that family, that was their aunt, that was their mom, that was them. There was something in it that was familiar.